In a quaint village nestled between emerald hills and meandering streams, lived a woman named Lila. Her life seemed ordinary to an outsider, but it was a masterpiece of joy painted on the canvas of simplicity. Lila radiated happiness, and her journey held the secret to living a life filled with contentment. Lila's story began in her childhood, where she learned valuable lessons from her wise grandmother. The village was small and resources were scarce, but Lila's grandmother possessed a wealth of wisdom that transcended material possessions. She taught Lila that happiness wasn't found in the pursuit of wealth or societal expectations, but in the simple joys that surrounded them. The first lesson Lila imbibed was the art of gratitude. Every evening as the sun dipped below the horizon, Lila and her grandmother would sit on the porch, reflecting on the day's blessings. It could be the warmth of a sunbeam, the laughter of children playing, or the aroma of a home-cooked meal. Through this ritual, Lila learned to appreciate the beauty in the smallest moments. As Lila grew older, the village's simplicity began to clash with the outside world's demands. The allure of a fast-paced life filled with material possessions beckoned, and Lila found herself torn between the familiar embrace of her village and the unknown adventures beyond. Her grandmother, sensing the internal struggle, offered a second lesson, the importance of staying true to oneself. Lila embarked on a journey to the city, enticed by the promises of success and abundance. However, the bustling cityscape overwhelmed her, drowning the melody of simplicity with the cacophony of chaos. Lila found herself in a relentless pursuit of success, sacrificing the very essence of who she was. The city's bright lights cast long shadows, and Lila felt lost in the labyrinth of expectations. In the midst of her struggles, Lila received a letter from her grandmother, a lifeline to the roots she had left behind. The letter spoke of the third lesson, the power of compassion. Lila's grandmother urged her to find joy in helping others, to extend a hand to those in need, and to sow seeds of kindness in the soil of humanity. Determined to rediscover the happiness that had eluded her, Lila volunteered at a local charity. The act of giving became a balm for her soul, and as she witnessed the gratitude in the eyes of those she helped, she realized the profound impact of compassion. Lila found joy not only in her achievements, but in the smiles she brought to others. The fourth lesson in Lila's journey was the realization that happiness is a state of mind. She returned to her village, not as the person who left in pursuit of success, but as someone who had discovered the true meaning of contentment. The emerald hills and meandering streams welcomed her back, and Lila felt a sense of peace that transcended the noise of the world. In the village, Lila embraced a minimalist lifestyle, shedding the excess baggage that had burdened her in the city. She surrounded herself with meaningful relationships, cultivating a community that shared the values of gratitude, authenticity, and compassion. The simple act of sipping tea with friends, sharing stories under the starlit sky, became the symphony of joy that filled Lila's heart. As the final notes of Lila's story played out, she found herself sitting on the same porch where she had learned the lessons of life from her grandmother. With a heart full of gratitude, authenticity, and compassion, Lila understood the essence of living happily. She had created a life that resonated with the rhythm of her soul, a melody that harmonized with the universe. In conclusion, Lila's journey teaches us that true happiness is not a destination, but a way of life. The symphony of joy is composed of gratitude for the present, authenticity in our actions, compassion for others, and the understanding that happiness is a state of mind. In the tapestry of existence, Lila's story remains a timeless reminder that in the pursuit of a fulfilling life, the simplest melodies often produce the most beautiful harmonies.